morning, happy Valentine's Day, and thanks for joining us. This Sunday, we are remembering that God loves us. There's going to be singing, a story, a prayer, and of course, a craft. I can't wait to get started, but before we do, let's pray. God, come be with us this morning. Amen. Let's get started. and the sea your river runs with love for me and i will open up my heart and let the spirit set me free i'm happy to be in the truth and i will daily lift my hand for i will always sing of when your love came down i could sing of your love forever i could sing of your love sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever over the mountains and the sea your river runs with love for me and I will open up my heart and let the spirit set me free I'm happy to be in the truth and I will daily lift my hands for I will always sing of when your love came down I could sing of your love forever 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 feel like dancing it's foolishness I know when the world has seen the light they will dance with joy like we're dancing now I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love sing of your love forever I could 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 sing of your love forever. When God made you. You, you, when God made you, God made you all shiny and new, an incredible you, a you all your own, a you unlike anyone else ever known. An exclusive design, one God refined, you're perfectly crafted, one of a kind. Because when God made you, somehow God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. You, you, God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your debut. From the very beginning, amid history and time, you, little one, never left God's mind. God imagined your eyes, your head's shape and size, and knew what you'd look like when you'd felt surprised. God pictured your nose and all ten of your toes, the sound of your voice, God had it composed. The lines on your hands, your hair, every strand, God knew every detail like it was all planned. Out of billions of faces from cultures, all races, people God made from all different places. God knew your name. Your picture is framed. God's family without you would not be the same. Because when God made you, this much is true. 
the world got to meet who God already knew. You, you, when God sees you, God delights in what is and sees only what's true. That you, yes, you, in all of your glory, bring color and rhythm and rhyme to God's story. So be you, fully you, a show-stopping review. Live your life in full color, every tint, every hue. Discover, explore, have faith but love more, and learn and relearn all that God made you for. Use your talents and passions, those gifts that God fashioned, think up ideas and then put them into action. Cause God loves you creating, your true self displaying, when light on the inside through art is portraying. When you make believe, the stories conceived, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. When you dance alone, spinning like a cyclone, being whoever, whatever, in a world all your own. God smiles and here's why. In the spark of your eye, a familiar reflection shines bright from inside. Cause when God made you, in the world ood and odd, in heaven they called you an image of God. You, you, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. That you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind, a dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming and journeys upstream. A mover, a shaker, a lover of nature, a you who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. A confident you, strong and brave too, you being you is God's dream coming true. Cause when God made you, all of heaven was beaming. Over you, God was smiling and already dreaming. Let's get ready to pray. We're going to take some time right now to get our minds and bodies ready to welcome God into this space. First, let's release some energy in our bodies. Jump up and down a few times, <laughs> wiggle your arms and legs, and feel the energy leave your body. Now bring your feet to your floor and your arms to your side and stand very still. Take a seat on the ground. Feel your legs pressing against the floor underneath you. Now place the palms of your hands on the floor beside you. Feel each finger pressing against the floor. Imagine there's a string attached to the top of your head. Pretend someone is pulling that string up and feel your back straighten. Now lift your shoulders up to your ears as high as they go, then let them fall down. Let's do that one more time. Lift your shoulders up to your ears and let them fall down slowly. Finally, imagine you're holding a lemon in each of your hands. Try to squeeze that as hard as you can and then slowly let go. Leave your hands open and find a comfortable place to rest them. Now let's pray these words after me. God, God, thank you for giving us this time to rest in your presence. Thank you for giving us this time to rest in your presence. Come be with us. Come be with us. Amen. Amen. Close your eyes and let's take a few deep breaths together. God, I pray that you will release our imagination and help us to hear you speak to us during this time together. We open our hands to you 
we open our ears to you. Come Holy Spirit. Close your eyes and imagine that you see two hands knitting. Imagine there are two hands in front of you with a great ball of yarn sitting next to those hands. What color is the yarn? Is it all one color or is it different colors? If you were to knit something special, what color yarn would you choose? Watch as the hands begin to shape the yarn into something. The yarn loops around the knitting needles and first begins to form a shape that you recognize. You aren't sure exactly what it is yet, but you have the sense that the person knitting is taking great care and paying attention to every detail. The hands that you see in front of you are strong hands but they gently hook and loop the yarn so carefully. You notice now that you begin to see a set of feet being formed. They are perfect feet, and they seem about the same size as your feet. Suddenly, you notice that these feet are no longer made of yarn. They seem to be real, live feet. And yet the hands continue to knit more. This is very strange indeed. But wait, it gets even stranger. It isn't just that these feet look like your feet. They are your feet. You can tell by looking at them. You know your own feet when you see them. And those are definitely your feet. What do your feet look like? Try to notice what you see. Watch as the knitted legs turn into real legs. Your legs are right there connected to your feet. Someone is knitting with great detail and care and everything they are knitting is coming to life. Watch as your body is knit together and formed. Your arms, your hands, your fingers. Imagine the hands that are knitting you pause a moment and reach out and grab one of your hands. Are you wondering who this is? Who is knitting you and forming you from the ground up? Let's continue to look closely. Watch as these hands knit your neck and begin working on your chin. Nobody's chin is like anyone else's. You have a unique chin. Next, your lips, your nose, your cheeks, your ears, and finally, your eyes. Imagine now that your whole body is almost formed and someone is knitting your eyes into place. Suddenly, you can see. You see the hands that are knitting you. You see the yarn lying next to you. You blink. And then you open your eyes to see that the hands are the hands of Jesus. They are bringing you into existence, bringing you into life. He knits and you are created. Think for a moment about who you are, who God has made you to be. What do you notice about yourself? What are you good at? What makes you laugh? What makes you cry? When do you feel strong and confident? What activity makes you feel like you're doing something you were meant to do? And when do you feel weak and maybe a little bit insecure? Are there things that you try to do that are hard for you? God has knit you together to be just the way you are. Can you think of anything that makes you uniquely you? Listen to these words of David. 
who wrote many psalms. He says, Oh yes, you shape me first inside, then out. You knit me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, you're breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made bit by bit. How I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watch me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day. Of all the things that God loves in this world, the most important thing to pay attention to is that He loves you. The most important part of this story is that God loves so many things and that He loves you in particular. This week, we are talking about how God knit us together in our mother's womb. And we are paying attention to how much detail and care God must have put into creating us if he's using this image of him knitting us together. And in order to make that real for us, we're going to do our own knitting or weaving activity so that we can see just how much attention to detail God must have put into us if he's creating us in the way that we're going to create our own weaving or knitting project. So the materials that you will need are the egg-shaped paper cutout, the strips of decorative pieces, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and some tape. Now that we have all of our materials, let's go ahead and get started. So you can decide to decorate your egg in any way that you would like. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the polka dotted strips of paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate each of these strips by folding it along the perforated edge and then tearing apart each strip just like I'm doing here. Now that I have every strip torn out, I'm going to take my first strip and I'm going to weave it through the slits in the egg. So. First, I'm gonna take the strip and I'm gonna put it under the first slit. And then for the next slit, I'm gonna put it over. So if you see here, right, the slit is above the strip, meaning I put it under that slit. And then the next slit, it's over. And I'm gonna continue that pattern of under, over, under, over, until I get to the very end of the egg. Now that that strip is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the next strip. However, I'm gonna start with going over the first slit. So the opposite of how I started last time. So I'll go over, under, over, under, all the way till I get to the end of the egg. And I'll repeat that process with all of my strips until I fill up the entire egg. So you see I started off with my purple polka dots, now I have my green, my orange, and I'm going to go ahead and put my yellow strip through, starting over this time, then going under, over, under. And my last strip is my blue strip of polka dots. 
and I'll put that through all the way to the end of the egg. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, so don't worry about taking your time. And as you take your time, going over, under, over, under, just again, remind yourself that this is how God describes creating us, right? Knitting us together with so much care and attention to detail. It's, it's just a great example of how much he loves us to put in this amount of time to us, to creating us. Now that I have all of my strips in place, I'll go ahead and line them up the way I want them to look. And then I'll flip over my egg to the back side. And I will take my tape and I'll tape down some of the strips so that they're not moving all over the place. And I'll just find one place for each strip to just tape it down. Now that my strips are taped down and in place, my last step is to cut off the excess. So I'll use my scissors here to just cut along the edge of the egg, cutting out all the excess of the strips. And that's it. There is my beautifully woven egg. And again, what a great reminder of just how much time and effort God put into creating us. He knit together what our faces would look like and how long our arms and legs would be. God did that for you and for me. It was great creating this woven craft with you. I can't wait to see you next week. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa. You are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you, Lord. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore.
Thank you so much for being with us this Sunday. And as we are going to do every Sunday, repeat these truths after me. The most important part of the story is that God loves so many things. God loves me. And with that, miss you, love you, and see you next week.